In keeping with the Superman related videos that we've posted recently, get ready to see how you can create Kal El's command key from the Man of Steel. How's it going, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Behind the Frame, where we show you guys how to create awesome props and effects from your favorite TV shows, movies, games, comics, and more. I'm Josh Long, and like I said, this is a Man of Steel-inspired prop tutorial episode. I am excited, or should I say super excited, for this prop tutorial episode because it shows you that in the filming business, a major prop doesn't have to be a huge piece of weaponry that's super detailed. It can be something like this, like the command key, that's really tiny and doesn't really have a whole lot of details. And it's something that you can wear around and show off your nerdy love. So that's a plus. And I did want to clarify about the prices from last time. The first cost will be just the supplies that you end up using, and then the second cost is the supplies and the tools all together if you wanted to start from scratch. So, let's get to see what we need. The tools I used were a Dremel tool, a handsaw, and my drill press. You can use any kind of drill really, but I would highly recommend using a hand drill if you're just starting off doing prop builds. Some household items include a mechanical pencil, a toothpick, some scrap cardboard, a cutting board, aluminum foil, a baking sheet, and something to mix your paints in. I used a paper plate, like this. And you know, an oven if your clay hardens by baking it. Super glue a sheet of cardstock paper, small paintbrushes. I bought two blocks of modeling clay just in case, but I only ended up using one. The color you choose doesn't matter for this one. Silver and black acrylic paints, a small dowel rod, an X-Acto knife or razor blade of your choice. Be safe with whichever kind of blade you use, please. Don't cut off your fingers. Bondo glazing and spot putty. A respirator for when you sand down the Bondo you've applied. Sandpaper, which is optional. That's if you don't have or want to get a Dremel, or if you have any meticulous sanding that you'd like to do on your piece. And finally, a brown string. You can go for more of an accurate style of string to match the reference pictures, or you can go with whatever you're fancy. Given that at the release of this tutorial, the Man of Seal hasn't been out in theaters for very long, which means there aren't that many reference photos, but there are a few going around the internet that worked out pretty well for what I needed. Like this picture of the actor playing Superman in between takes, wearing the command key. This gives me a great picture to scale the length and the width of the piece. And in this photo here, we get a great close-up view of the exact design and color. I started off by taking a template of the Superman S, I shrunk it down to size, and printed that bad boy out on some cardstock. The link to the free template download is below, and it's to scale, so no worries. I then knead the clay until soft. I need you! Why don't you love me? No, not like that. Like this. Make multiple thick and smooth sections from your clay large enough to give a little extra room on the sides. I achieve the correct shape by taking the image that I printed on the cardstock and place it on top of the clay. I use the exacto knife once again to cut out the shape, repeat this enough times to get enough clay pieces, once stacked, to get the proper length. A good length to go for would be somewhere between two and a half to three inches at most, from what I can see in the reference photos. Then either wait for your clay to air dry, or like what I had to do in my case, I had to bake it. Just follow the instructions given on your respective clays. After you've waited the proper amount of time, remove the clay from the oven and wait for them to cool to the touch. Before you glue your clay pieces together, be sure to sand smooth the top and bottom pieces of each one of the slugs so they stack properly. Put some super glue on the small clay slugs and stack them on top of one another, paying careful attention to align the symbols together. This next part isn't entirely necessary, but I did it to strengthen the whole piece. On the bottom of the piece, drill a small hole in the center of it, most of the way through, not all of the way. Using the handsaw, I cut a piece off the dowel that's a little longer than the depth of the hole that I drilled. Super glue it in there so it's secure. Then use the Dremel tool to sand flush with the bottom. Now it's time for the Bondo. This step is so that the command key becomes completely smooth and prepares it for paint. When you're using the glazing and spot putty, you squeeze out a little bit from the tube and then apply with a small piece of scrap cardboard. You'll have about 10 minutes to work with whatever you take out. Once the most recent layer of Bondo has hardened, sand it smooth. 
Fill in any small gaps that may still be present. Repeat this process until it looks like one solid piece. With things all smooth and unified, we get to work now on the S detail. I started by drawing out the S on top, and then to carve out the negative space, I then used the Dremel using a small detailing bit. This isn't some crayon drawn deal, this is alien stuff we're talking about. So, the more precise and detailed you are, the better. With that done, now it's time to paint. I mixed the silver and black acrylic paints together in my paper plate to the point where I got a nice onyx color. Apply enough coats to cover the whole piece. After the onyx colored paint is applied and dried to the touch, paint in the recessed areas around the S. A toothpick worked really well here. Then just wait for all your paint layers and applications to dry to the touch. Now if you want to make a necklace out of it, like I ended up doing here and like it's presented in the movie, you just take your string and then make a knot that's secure enough so that it doesn't fall off as you walk anywhere with it. Unless you just want to put it up somewhere and admire it. Which is, that's cool too. Are you crying? No! Thanks everyone for watching this episode of Behind the Frame. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked this episode, if you have any comments about what you saw, or if you have suggestions for future tutorial episodes, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below. If you want to see more behind the frame goodness, be sure to subscribe to the NerdSync Productions channel on YouTube, where there are more episodes like this one for your eyeballs to behold. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and you can follow me on Instagram at Joshua underscore E underscore long to see some other projects that I'm working on. See you next time! You can't fly. Yes, I can. I just had to believe! No, yeah, I, I know. The link to the free... <laughs> I was just like, forget it. I'm just gonna change that. All right. And resist the urge to make a mustache with your clay.